Welcome me everyone to use the weather app. Let's start by opening it up. And when you open the app, you should see your current location and the weather. If you don't, then just tap on the location icon here at the bottom left. And we can see the temperature. And this is in degrees centigrade or degrees Fahrenheit. And to change that, I'll show you later on in the video. We can see the type of weather here. We have a background as well. We have the high temperature, which is the highest temperature of the day and the lowest temperature of the day. If there is a rain forecast, you will see rain show up right here. And this is showing the levels of precipitation. We then have the hourly forecast and you can swipe across to see each hour and you can see the type of weather. If it's raining, what percent chance you're going to see of the rain. It's going to show the sunset as well. And that is, you know, high winds, cloudy. And you can swipe across to view up to 24 hours. And if you have rain nearby, you can see the precipitation here. And if you tap on the precipitation, you're going to see the hourly forecast over time and the rain over time. You have a chart which shows the levels of precipitation. So you can look at the colors here to see the amount. If you tap on this three squares icon, we can change the map that we see. So we can look at the temperature over time. Uh, we can see the air quality over time. And we can also see the wind as well and how that changes over time. You have the play button here and you can scrub around to take a look. If your weather app is not showing the precipitation chart, but you still want to take a look, there is this map here and this will load the precipitation and then you can filter. And if we scroll down, you're going to see the 10 day forecast. You can see each day. And if you tap on the day, you can see more information, just the hourly uh, weather conditions, the hourly temperature, the high, the low temperature, the chance of rain. It gives you a day summary as well. And the unit here, talking about that one earlier, you can either use the Celsius or Fahrenheit. But for most people, as you set up your iPhone from the region you're in, that metric should be the one you want to use. And if we scroll down, we have the air pollution information. We can see the UV index information. To those wondering what UV index is, that is the amount of ultraviolet radiation is coming from the sun. So if it's low, that's good. And if it goes too high, then it will let you know that there is a risk. And you can see the sunset and sunrise, the mile per hour for wind speed, the gust speed, the direction of the wind. And lots more information here. We can go on what the temperature feels like, the amount of rain falling, how, long, how far you can see, the humidity level, and you can see how the moon looks like and when the next full moon is showing. And you can see the average temperatures here, the pressure levels here, and you can also report an issue if you would like to. Now, if you want to see the temperature for more locations, maybe you're traveling to the capital city and you just want to take a look how the weather is there. If you tap on the triple lines here, we can now see a bunch of locations. And to search for location, we're just going to search here. I'm going to do London 
England. Uh, we can see the uh, information right here. And so if I want to add this, so if I want to add this so I can quickly preview stuff, I've already added London. So let me use an address I haven't added. So I'm going to use Brixton. And if you search up a location, you have the option to add to the weather. So I'm going to add. And now you can see the Brixton. And I can tap on this one at any time. And I can view all of the weather information. There's two more things. The first one, if you want to delete the weather. So let's say I never go to Marlow. So I want to delete this one. I want you to tap on the triple dots here. And then you're going to see edit list. And you can just remove what you would like. Where the three lines is, you can change where the apps will show in order. I'll tap on done here. And if we tap the triple lines again, we can set up the notification settings. So if we want severe weather alerts, let's allow this one. And you can see next hour precipitation notifications, severe weather notifications, and they'll be sent to you. And what would really be nice is if we could add the weather on our home screen. To do that, you're going to long press on the empty space of your home screen. You are then going to tap on the plus and then you're going to search for the weather and you're going to tap on the weather here and you can swipe across to see the size of your widget and when you're happy just tap on add and now you've added the widget to your home screen to change what location is in your widget long press on the widget and then edit widget and just tap on the location here and you can change it to the locations you have saved 